Hello, everybody. It's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today, I've got a hard goods and a little bit of clothing haul for you guys today. I am waiting to see if my stream looks good. So let me mute that real fast. Hang on. Boop. My stream has been being funny, but I'm hoping today it's going to look all right. So I have that going over off to the side. So apologies for that. Just getting started. So what I've got today are some things that I've picked up from Savers and from Goodwill. And I wanted to really come on and show you the things that I picked up and what I can sell them for because uh, a lot of times you don't, you can't always find things that are going to sell for a huge profit. I mean, it would be fantastic if that was possible, but I wanted to be able to come on and show you that you can find smaller items and still get a good bang for your buck if you're looking at the big picture. And so I've got a number of different things here, a couple of clothing items, some breakables, some hard goods. And yeah, so I thought I would come on and share those with you today. And I did the research so I can pull up the screenshots of what's out there and how I decided on my price points. And yeah, so I'll talk to you about that. Before we get started, I wanna invite you to please go subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you're watching later, leave a comment and let me know, hello, that you came by. Also, uh, for my friends out there who are watching that are YouTubers or aspiring YouTubers trying to get your channels up and going, or maybe you have a, uh, an established channel and you're just trying to branch out uh, to find new viewers, I did put out my, uh, my call out for another reseller speed dating video. So if you're a reseller or a jewelry, you know, do jewelry unboxings or anything like that, I do, let me see, I do have my, I put it in the community tab. So if you want to check it out in more detail, if you come over to the community tab on my um, YouTube page and then scroll down, you'll see, uh, you know, calling all speed daters. And then I give you kind of the, the rundown of what to expect. And in, in that, um, the comments there, I've linked the two that I did before. And then in the, in the description of this, in this video, I've also linked the speed dating videos that we've done before. It's really fun. Basically you submit a one minute video, just kind of, you know, pump in your channel and letting everybody know who you are, what you're about. And then I compile them into this one long video where uh, people can see just a snippet from all these different channels. And then we link all the channels in the description. It's super fun. I loved doing it. Um, I loved compiling them because a lot of times I'll see your names in the chat or I'll see your names in the comment section. Or, and I it's, it's fun to be able to put a face to a name so that when I'm talking to you in the chat or responding to you in the comments, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, that's so-and-so. It's, and it's a, a really fun way for us to all get to know each other better. So there's that, just getting started. And I am live. So if you're, if you're here live, say hello. Hello, hello, naked and laughing. Hi, Melissa. Hello, hello, Fox and Cat and Sonia and Janine and Hollywood. Nice to see you guys. All right, so let's dive in. Looks like the stream's still going okay. The first item that I picked up were some pants, y'all. Y'all know, you know, I don't sell a whole lot of clothes. I have been picking up some shoes lately, though. Uh, but I saw these pants on the rack. Just they just happened to be on the end of the rack when I was going by, and I was like, "Whoa, what are these pants?" So these are Adidas. They're like Adidas golf pants or something. Um, but I was just drawn to the color. They're these green and black kind of checked pants. They're in fantastic condition, almost almost new condition. Like so, I don't know anything about clothes. So clothing, but you guys that sell clothes and do clothing hauls, I don't even know how to hold this thing up to show you. It's pants. You know what pants look like, right? Um, so they were $9.49 at Savers, but I did have 20% off. So it's 20% off that. And let me show you what I think I'm going to be able to sell these for. Oh, I did. I titled this video, um, turning $40 into $500. This is approximate. I think I spent about $45. Um, and I should be able to make about $500. This is my estimating what I'm going to be able to make. So I did a search for these pants. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of them out there. There, there was a pair on Poshmark and there was a pair on eBay. And so the way, the way I go about trying to figure out how I want to price something is a lot of people, you know, swear by going off of just eBay sold. And that's fine, I guess, if you're just selling on eBay. But even then, I don't always go off eBay sold. I like to do a Google search 
because then uh, it'll pop up where, you know, other places that it's listed for, like Poshmark or other places like that. So I can see kind of a cross section off the internet uh, where what they're being sold for, uh, you know, what they're priced at. These aren't sold clearly, but so 23 bucks on that one and 24.88 on that pair. Did I pull them up? Yeah. So about $23. Um, now I could just go ahead and go off of that price if I wanted to. I'm, I'm looking at the sizes as well and like trying to keep that in mind. Like, is my size a common size or is it not? Because I think that's probably something else. Clothing sellers, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm guessing that's something else that would affect the price is if it's a, a size that is a dime a dozen or if it's a size that's a little more hard to come by. So looks like I'll probably be pricing my pants in the $25 to $30 range and making sure I get some good you know, measurements and pictures of them. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hello, hello in the chat. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad that, that uh, you guys could come. All right, next, the next item, what do I have here? Oh, wait, I did find a pair. Hang on, I took this off so you can't see. Uh, this was a pair, you know, that was the Poshmark one. This one's out of stock, so it sold for 30 bucks. You can see right down here where it says $30 out of stock. So that pair, goodness gracious, sold uh, for 30. So cool, cool deal. All right, the next item, okay, the next item I got was this bird uh, jewelry holder. And the reason I got it, I, I know that these can be kind of a dime a dozen with the, you know, the bird and the, the reason I decided to go ahead and get this one, it was $3.99, but then 20% off of that was because it was, it was copper. And also, you know, the bird had a little bit more like paint on it, a little more embellishment. So it was just a little more unique than just the, the ones you see every day, I thought. So let's see. I'm trying to put it over there. Let's see what I think I should be able to ask for it. If you guys have any questions as we go along, uh, let me know and I can and jump over into the chat and answer them. So basically, I did copper bird ring bracelet jewelry holder stand when I did my search just to see what would pop up. And there are a few different ones out there um, that I'm seeing, you know, again, not for a whole lot. But then if I scroll down a little further, there's a copper one that's 20 bucks. The thing is, when it comes to this is someone is going to be looking for something specific. You know, they're there. Maybe the aesthetics in their bedroom is not going to be black. They don't want a black one. You know, that it, it's going to they're really some people really care about the aesthetics or the styling of their of their room. And so, like, here's one that's very similar, but it's, you know, not copper. They sold for $10.99. I had a little bit more trouble finding, <laughs> finding these. But probably what I'm going to end up pricing it at, because I like to price things high and just put best offers, probably going to price it around $18, which may be, maybe too high, maybe not high enough. I don't know. But um I'm just, that's the kind of the price point, maybe 18 to $20 put best offer on it. And if someone wants to send me an offer, then I can accept it or not. But I couldn't find another one quite like it. And I really thought the, the copper was um, a little more unique than some of the other ones I've seen out there. All right. So the next item that I picked up, it kind of spoiled, spoiled it, um, is this little Harry Potter. Look, it's not in great shape. Uh, it's a Harry Potter, looks like a book, but it's actually... A, a game of some sort. I've got to open it up. I've got to clean it up. Uh, and it says Book of Spells. And it's a, one of those tiger games. And there's some game. I don't even know how to play it. It doesn't matter. I don't need to know how to play it. Uh, I'll change the batteries out, get it working, make a, a video um, showing it's working. And let's see what we what we see of, of them out there right now. So again, I did a just a Google search so I could see across lots of platforms. And I see eBay, 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 uh, anywhere from like about 20 bucks to this one's still new in package at 40 uh, or 50 bucks. Here's another one. I don't know if this is still in the package, 50 bucks. And this, that's it for what I see out there. Did I? Nope. Okay. Uh, so once I get it going and cleaned up and working, the if I put a video in my listing showing it's working and all that, I'm probably going to end up putting anywhere probably about 30 to $35 on that. And this one, it was in a bag. It was, it was in, in the bags at uh, Savers. It was $2.99. So that is a good 
ROI on that. Oh, you've got, okay. Heather says, by the way, loud mouth golf pants sell very well. Okay, good. That's good. See, I, if I can just know a couple of things to look for, then I can start expanding, right? That's kind of how we, we learn, right? Pick up a, a couple new brands or a couple new tips here and there. So when you go, I don't go through the clothing section very often, but when I do, I'll know like, okay, look for this right now. It's like, look for anything weird, you know, or anything that's got these cool patterns, but that, that helps me a lot. Thank you. Okay. Next. Okay. The next item is what I have in the thumbnail, which I was super excited to find this. Oh, the sticker came off of it, but this was three nine. $3.99 bonk. And this is a wedding vase, which the very first commenter, Naked and Laughing, commented. It's a really cool Native American wedding vase. Saw a real beautiful one a few months ago, but it had cracks in it. Well, this, because the Native American wedding vase has the two, you know, holes on the sides. This one is signed. And then also, awesomely enough, the paperwork for it is in there. Somebody stuffed it down in there. And I was, I, I was able to peek down in the hole enough to to figure out who the maker is so or where it was no it won't work okay uh, can you play the jugs on it no um so i was able to figure out that i'm gonna have to get in there with some little clippers and pull the paperwork out because i think it's really going to enhance the value so let me show you what i found it was rancho feliz was the the paperwork that's inside inside the vase um which i have to get pulled out anyway this one let me make myself smaller here um i did a little bit of a search here to try to see ugh, wrong thing there were a few different ones out there i i don't know i'm always very uh biased on the ones i pick up i don't know why i'm like i think mine is nicer i think mine is prettier you know i think i could ask more i don't know uh so there were a couple, let's see, that one's on worth point. So this one is on, or is, was on eBay at 40 bucks, 39.99 is what it's listed for at the moment. And then this one I did Rancho Feliz wedding vase. And there were other Rancho Feliz items that popped up, but not a wedding vase. So that might also enhance the value because somebody really might want one from that brand. So I could possibly ask more because I'm looking at these Rancho Felice items, you know, that one's at a hundred bucks. And I, I know that these are not sold, but I kind of still go off of just, I go look at this one. Oh, this one's New Mexico Felice 249, but isn't that gorgeous? Okay. I give it to that one. That one's beautiful. <laughs> that one is fantastic. Let's go ahead and click on sold. See what we see. Let's see. So, I mean, when I'm looking at the, the sold over here, I don't do auctions generally. So this one sold on auction for $39. Uh, and this one also on auction 28. So let me come over here to the side and I'm going to turn off auction. I'm just going to select buy it now. Anyway, I can't. So all of these were sold on auction, I guess. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Are these all sold on auction? Wow. Maybe I should do an auction. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm probably, the prices are all over. That's the thing. So I might just end up, look at me. I'm just trying to mentally figure out what I'm going to do. Probably, I'm probably going to put a high price on it because there were none of this brand listed on eBay at the moment. And the prices that I'm seeing on sold all are auctions. And then also they're kind of all over the place. So I don't have a clear idea of what I think the value of this might actually be. Uh, so probably I'll list it in the $80 range, which should, it might change my, my guesstimation for how much money I'm going to make, but I'm, I'd rather price it high and then see kind of what offers get, get brought in. I can always drop the price down, but if I listed it for 30 bucks, and it sold, you know, overnight, I would really be kicking myself. So I'd rather, I mean, and again, that's, that's just my, my strategy. Everybody, you know, has their own strategy for how they sell. Maybe you're wanting just to get that, the turnover, get it sold and get it out of here. You made your profit. You're good. But I don't mind waiting on some of the items to, to see if they can, can get a higher price. Oh, I see a question. Let's see. 
Do you search items while you're at the store before you decide to purchase? A lot of times I do. Uh, I'll have my, my phone with me and I'll look it up, especially if it's something that I don't know a ton about. There are some things that I just go, I go with, you know, like, you know, especially if it's inexpensive and, but once you get, sorry, if I just bonked the, the mic. Once you get, um, a few things under your belt, like I, I, I really have a good feeling about this or I can't verbalize what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. So sometimes I do most of the time I do. And sometimes I don't. Hello, crazy May. How are you? Uh, let's see. I feel like I left, I missed some questions. Let me look in the chat real quick. Hello, Sammy. How are you? Hello. Um, okay. I answered that one. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. When selling jewelry, where do you put the keywords and the title and the title or the description? Both my, my, the way I write my descriptions for my, pretty much all my items is I create a really long title basically and I stack all the important words at the front and I just like continue describing it and I usually you know I use lists perfectly so I create this big long title and then I pare it down for the different sites but then that ends up being the bulk of my description you know I just get all the keywords in there and then and then I'll put the measurements and the condition and all that also in the in that part so both does that answer the question I hope um do an auction you say yeah Linda said, hello, Linda. When I'm not sure, I list at auction for the lowest price I'm willing to sell it for. It works for me most of the time. I might try that because I don't really ever do auctions. I've done it for a few like collectible Star Wars stuff. And then, um, yeah, and then auction. Okay, I might try that. I'll try that first. Because then if it doesn't sell, I can just go put it on, um, buy it now or whatever. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. The next item that I got. Okay. These are kind of weird. This is one that I didn't look up, but they, they were so funky and weird. I, I, I had to get them. It was $4 and again, 20%, 20% off. And as it says there, door stops. So there are four, four of them in here. Let me pull one out so to show you. So it's this little like rock moon face guy and then there's the, the little lip that goes under the door what do you think i could i could not find these at all but i figured the 3.99 20 percent off for four of them i mean it makes them less than a dollar a piece weird funky unusual that kind of stuff generally sells but i i couldn't find anything like them and my Resin moon face door stopper under door wedge. I was just trying any kind of combination of words that I could. Yeah, I just couldn't find anything. Um, so probably what's going to happen is that I'll end up listing each of them for probably about $17.99. And that may be crazy. But once again, I can always drop the price, you know, and it's kind of cool because I can make one listing, put quantity for um, and probably, probably about $17.99 is what I'm going to put on them. Same reason. Just, I couldn't find anything like, um, it looks like a, a moon, a rock. Uh, I don't know. Just weird, right? Fun and weird. Okay. So that is that. So, I mean, that would be a really good profit if they do sell for that $17.99 a piece. They might, they might not. We'll see. Uh, the next item that I have here for you uh, is, uh, y'all know I'm a rock hound, right? I love rocks, gems, minerals. So there was a bag, a lot of bag of rocks for $6, but it had some really nice pieces. So there were four of these eggs. Let me pull them out. I can pull them out. Here we go. Four of the, what was that weird sound? Uh-oh, hang on. There we go. Okay. Um, these little eggs, I have to do a little research on what I think this one is. This one is agate. I'm pretty sure that that one is an agate. If you guys know differently, you tell me. And then this one has got like some amethyst in it, which actually probably make it a little bit more. And then these two are different, but red, you know, this one's more like modeled. And then this one is kind of stripy, like kind of like an agate as well. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh my goodness. Um, so these, uh, 
I'm probably going to sell them individually because somebody might just want, you know, the yellow one or the purple one. And there we go. Um, so let's take a peek at what I think I might be able to. Oh, look. Okay, here. This can help me. Ah, here we go. Um, so when I do the search, stone, agate, eggs, like here I see this one. And I can go in there and see like, okay, what is that? Like this one is unikite. And I guess are the rest of them all agate? I don't know. So I'll find out. But the lot of four of them is 45 bucks. So probably what I'm going to do is put about $15 on them. I might put a little bit more. What are your thoughts on that? Put a little bit more on the, the amethyst one that, that has the purple. Just because I, I'm guessing it would be a little more desirable, you know. Alabaster agate stone, 35 bucks on those two. So yeah, I mean, maybe I'll put a little bit more, 15, between 15 and $20, just kind of depending. And also when you go through, you know, when you're looking at other ones, you get ideas for keywords. And as you can see, where'd that one go? Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? You know, healing egg stone. Like some people might be searching for, you know, crystal healing. They're more into the metaphysical aspect of, of rocks and minerals and stuff like that. So they're small though, but anyway, but also in that bag, hi, hi, As more friends are jumping in. Um, do, 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 do. Correct on the amethyst and agate. Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. I appreciate it. Uh, the yellow looks like citrine. Okay. I'm going to have to definitely the, oh, the, yeah, this, this one, because you see the stripies. I'm pretty sure that's right. But I always like to to double check. Uh, hello. Oh, yes, Kraken, I did get your email for the, the the speed dating, right? Yes, yes. I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, let me see the red ones again, Papa Smurf says. You got it. Here we go. Any help I can get, I'll take it. Ready? Here we go. So this one is more striped, kind of like an agate. And this one is, do you think it's a dyed alabaster? What do you think? Because I think this red one is. This other one I've got over here. Tell me what you think. Okay. So the other thing that was in the bag was this heart. And this one, when I looked it up, uh, I saw something similar that said like Italian red alabaster or something like that. Here, let me show you. Um, and it's like a little paperweight. Isn't that sweet? So yeah, the one I found that was kind of similar to it this one is similar-ish. I don't know. Mine is not, doesn't have the white veining like that does. But I did find, yeah, mine is not quite like that. But that one's up for $14 or $15. Here's another one, you know, just large heart paperweight. This one was $36 and it's out of stock. So that's promising, right? That is promising. Here's one that sold that had, someone had I guess painted little stars and stuff or carved stars into it. 15 bucks is what it sold for. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not citrine banded agate. Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, display the eggs. Oh, you know, what? it's so funny that you said that, Chris, because you just wait. Um, you just wait and see what I have. Um, let's see. Oh, the other looks like alabaster sweet. Thank you. Yay. All right. So let me take that off. So this uh, one, I I know that there were ones that are up and sold for $15, but I might just go ahead and list it a little bit higher because I can, <laughs> because I can. Uh, and just, you know, again, put best offer on it. So the next thing we've got to look at here. Okay. This one is kind of, uh, I got this at Goodwill and it's so light. I keep Norwesco. It's a bank, right? But this is like a promotional item. This, this is a company that makes water tanks or something. I don't know. I had to do research and they, they make giant tanks that hold liquids. So this is a promotional item from that company. Um, oh, the heart is Texas red Jasper. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I was like, it didn't quite match, right? It didn't look like the alabaster, um, on the other one. So thank you for that. I'm going to have to come back because I won't remember later, but take a peek. So I found it, right? But take a look right here. It says coin piggy bank, blah, blah, blah. But when I click on it, vintage, it says vintage, unique brown telephone. And it, so when I click it through, 
it's not, it's not the same thing. It's clicking through to a different item. So I just kind of like, I could not find it anywhere to, to get a value on it. Uh, so I spent $3 on it at Goodwill. I need to clean it up. It's a little dusty, but I honestly am kind of at a, at a loss as to how to price it because I can't find another one. It's a promotional item. I don't know if this is something that is collectible or not. So it might be something that I just put a really high price on for that reason and, and go with it. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to say for you friends, I don't mean to point my finger at you, but uh, those of you who are going to submit something for the, the speed dating, even if you did one before, even if you were in one of the other speed dating videos, it doesn't matter. You can do it again, you know, just make a new video or whatever, because why not? Right. For the funsies, for the funsies of it. Uh, okay. So bank, what do you think? What should I put on it? Like 80 bucks just because I can't find another one and I can always lower the price. Maybe I'll put 80 bucks on it. Why not? Uh, the next item, but I, I would like to hear your thoughts as well, for sure. Let me see what the next thing. Okay. Next thing too is this is what I did not look up. It's a nasty shape and it's a good, a good cleaning big time. It's pretty grody. Um, but I got this and it was two nineteen at Goodwill. And again, this is another one that there wasn't a red one up for sale. So I'm kind of, I like that because I think it's a, a good, a good color that somebody, I guess I call it Ruby on that one, um, that somebody would like because I found, I find clear ones and I found a teal one, but not a, a red one. So here's this one. But again, when you click on it and click through, it's, it's not there. See, I'll show you. Hang on. If I click it. Yes. Yes. eBay U, or Etsy UK. And it was in somebody's like, you, you used to, I don't know if you can still do it, create a favorites. And so I could not find it for the life of me on there. So where did this one go? So here you see a clear one that somebody has up for $15. And then there was a teal one. Where'd the teal one go? I can't find it again. Great. Um, but the teal one, nope, that's not it. Oh, I had to, I had this all set up for you. Sorry. I know the scrolling really bothers some people. There it is. There it is. So the teal one, somebody has up for $24. Oh, they put candle holder in there. That's a good idea too. So because I can't find the red or what they call Ruby, I guess it's more kind of purpley, isn't it? Um, I'm probably going to put it up maybe closer to that $25, $30 mark. Yeah, so that'll be good. That'll be nice. Looks like a radiator, quirky girl says. Um, oh, thank you. I, I'd like to see that. I appreciate it. Definitely. Uh, the next item. Oh, it, our coasters. Y'all know I love selling coasters because they're so easy. I think that's why. And I know some, some coasters, they don't have a huge ROI, but this is another one of those things that if you're, especially if you're just started reselling, like this is so easy you know, finding coasters, if they're in good shape, get them cheap and they're, they're pretty easy to flip. There's nothing to it, right? It's taking pictures. They're not huge, not going to break. You know, it's just an easy in to a section where you're like, I don't know what to sell from this section. And so I got these for $2 and 19 cents. They're pretty cool. They stack. I got that, you know, uh, circular design on them. And and, and they're in a holder. So, and yeah, maybe they're not going to sell for, for a mint, but as you can see, you know, they, they might sell for, for an okay price, right? These are up for $42.99. I'm trying to find some like kind of pine looking ones, 12 bucks on this, but I don't know. Um, here are some that are, oh, those are on Amazon. I think I was looking for the wood. I was like trying to figure out what is the wood on these? I think they're just like a pine or something. Cause mine is not, they're not bamboo. I know that. Um, so yeah, so probably what I'm going to do is, oh gosh, I say this, I'm probably going to price them about 25 bucks because I couldn't find one and it's got a lot of them. Look how many there are in there. You know, a lot of coaster sets don't have this. This one's got eight. A lot of them only have like maybe six or so. And then, um, yeah, somebody might, they want square or they want a particular look, right? And so I am going to probably price those at 25 and then just see um, how it goes from there. Okay. Good to see you too. 
Yes, I'm doing the speed dating again. <laughs> it's so fun though. I and I feel like I I need to I need to see y'all. I feel like it's been a while <laughs> since I've seen you. I don't get to watch that many videos because just the you know I homeschool my kids and just life is. Did I close that? I think I closed out a thing I didn't mean to close. No, oh, hang on. Um, yeah. So and and then that gives me a. I feel like I can reconnect with with you guys as well. Uh, okay, next. So the next item I didn't look up either at the store, but it's a, a plaque. <laughs> and it's like this decoupage um, for a very dear mother. And it's got like a puppy and a kitty and it's very kitschy and then like this bric-a-brac around it. And I got it for three bucks and it was, um, again, 20% off. Very kitschy, right? Um, and if y'all know other keywords that I could throw at it, y'all let me know. But let's see what I think I'm going to be able to sell it for. So I did a search and I did decoupage on wood vintage kittens for a very dear mother. And as you see, like there are some of these wood plaques and these decoupage lacquered plaques are up for a, a pretty penny, you know. And over here, oh, I would have bought that in a, in a heartbeat. Look at that with the owl and the cat. Here's a vintage wall plaque for 28 bucks. I mean, they're just, I, I don't pick them up very often, but I'm like, maybe I should be looking at them a little more because, um, remember that one I got, it wasn't a decoupage one, but it was like the two cats. It was like a photograph, but the cats were dressed up or somehow maybe it was Photoshopped and they were sitting on the couch and it was like a husband and wife cat. And they were like, it was like this mirrored. It was so weird. And it sold for a really, I mean, so quick and it sold for a good profit. So, I mean, just stuff like that. We'll see how long it takes to sell too. But it, it seems like the prices that are out there are anywhere between, you know, $25 to $40, depending on subject matter and style, things like that. So <laughs> it's good fun, right? Good fun. Um, So here are some sold over on eBay. These are, here's one, an owl that's on wood. Sold for 30 bucks, Native American for 20, you know, just some different ones. These were up for 25, these owls. So yeah, I mean, it's worth looking at if you see them for, here's the Duke for 50 bucks. That's sold. This is one that I saw over and over again, this religious art, the praying uh, guy, praying guy. But I, I saw a number of that one that had sold, you know, here's another one, Eric Enstrom. So look, even a Peterbilt semi-truck on wood with clock sold for 80 bucks, right? <laughs> How fun is that? Um, do you know, is it kitschy as tech? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next thing that I have for you, uh, is a, uh, Jim Shore. So this is a Jim Shore piece. And the, if you, once you get to see, once you get to know Jim Shore style, you can spot it a mile away. So this Jim Shore heart I picked up for three bucks. And this was again, 20% off at Savers. And let's take a peek at what I think I can get for it. So it's just a little, a little heart, right? Uh, these are the ones that are up right now. So there's one on eBay. Now Walmart, you know, has started doing like, kind of like Amazon where you can do like, you can sell on Walmart site, but it's not actually Walmart. Have you seen this? Do any of y'all do this? Anyway, um, so there's a couple there. And then on eBay, I wanted to show you, are these sold? Yeah, these are sold. There's a few sold. So three of them here. So $23, $20, and then 38. This one, brand new, brand new, brand new. This one says brand new, but it's not in the box or anything. And then let's take a peek at how many are still up for sale. Cause that kind of affects, you know, cause there's quite a few. If you see, there's a bunch of them, there's a bunch of listings. So this is kind of where I have to decide cause there's quite a few, as you can see, and only three sold. Uh, do I try to get in there at a higher price or because mine is not brand new, try to put a lower price and just move it, which is probably the route I'm going to go. Because if, if it were a nicer, you know, if it was still in the box and it was new, I wouldn't have any problem trying to compete with all of these other ones that are still brand new. But because it's not, 
and probably, I think too, as you can see, the, a lot of the people that have their listings up, they've used the stock photo for it, right? So I'm wondering also, tell me what you think about this, because I'm not going to use the stock photo. Yeah, sure. I could go grab it, but mine's not brand new. I'm wondering if taking my photo and having it look like a, like a real item I have in hand, you know, and my photo looking different, if that's going to make mine stand out among all of these, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think psychologically, you know, that, okay, somebody's just scrolling through, like, I don't know which one to pick. These all look the same. They're, oh, look, there's one that's like an actual photo of the one she's got. I'm going to buy that one. What do you think? You think that'll work? It might, right? Because that's what I'm going to do. So maybe I will just list it for, you know, maybe I'll list it for like $25 because it is used, but I'm going to have a real photo photo of it, not a stock photo. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to work. I think it's going to work. It's like the Vulcan mind meld, right? Um, okay. Next item. Oh, another piece of clothing. And then I have a couple things that I didn't look up that I'm just kind of going because I, I couldn't look them up. Next thing again, day glow. I had the kids with me. So I said, you know, go through, go look at the clothes and grab something that looks interesting to you. And so they came back and they would come back with different things. And I would say yes or no or whatever. And so this is one of the ones I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a Nike, like very day glow lime green hoodie. Uh, it was $13.99, which is kind of pricey, but medium, good size. I don't know. How do you do it? Clothing sellers. I just hold it up, right? Just hold it up. It's a green hoodie. Don't worry. I shaved my armpits. We're good. Um, and then there was one I found like it on Poshmark for 35 bucks. So that was the only one I could find that was just exactly like mine. All the rest had, you know, say a black logo or, you know, something else on it. So yeah, I mean, maybe I go ahead and just list it for 35 bucks. That's a medium. Mine's a medium. It's a showdown. It's a showdown. We'll see. We'll see who wins me or the other one or both of us. Anyway. Okay. So the next things that I have, oh, 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 I was saying with the rocks, I did buy some, and this is based on, and oh, gosh, who was it? I just now forgot, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't technically put my hands on the item in the photo, but it'll, you know what I mean? Have it in hand to have in hand, like have it you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, but napkin rings, I just like with um, coasters, I love selling napkin rings. Sorry, let me adjust the wardrobe adjustment here. But this set that I got, I think it was like two bucks for the four of these silver plate napkin rings. Um, I probably won't sell them as a set, but I got the... Uh, recommendation to sell them as like crystal holders. You know, I, it won't hold this one up and these other little eggs are too small for it, but I have other crystals that I can put on there as a, a display to show that not only could you use it as a napkin ring, but you could use it as a display stand for a crystal or a rock or a whatever you want to put your magic eight ball on it. What do you think? Should I, should I polish them? I don't normally Maybe somebody likes the tarnish on the silver plate. So um, I'm probably going to sell them for $10 a piece. We'll see. This is the first time I've tried this. So I, it could be a miserable failure. But for whatever $2 I spent on them, it's worth trying to make 40 bucks. What's the worst that could happen? They don't sell? Huh. All right. Next, I... I needed a little help. I didn't look this one up. Uh, this is another, well, I looked it up, but I couldn't find one quite like it. It's like a glass, blown glass votive holder basket. Um, the price tag came off, so I can't remember what I bought it for. It wasn't very much though. Uh, yeah, what do you think? I mean, I think I saw one up that was kind of like it, but it was purple and it was a little fancier with the, with the handles. And I think it was up for like 35 or 40 bucks. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do with this. Probably put it up for about $30, $35. Tell me if I should list it for more. I'm trying to branch out and, and pick up new things here and there. 
And then the last two items that I have are, looks like somebody made them, but they looked pretty cool. This was 90, 89 cents. And, you know, it could be used as an ashtray or a trinket tray, but I just really liked it. And I liked, I liked 89 cents also. Uh, so I'm probably going to list this as, you know, trinket tray, ashtray, because it's kind of, you could use it if you smoke a pipe too, like a stand to put the pipe in. What do you think? 25 bucks, maybe? Why not? Right? And give it a try. And then the last one, same deal. It has a nose. Look, there's a nose. Do you think it was meant to hold coasters at one point? Or again, I'm probably just going to list it as an ashtray or a trinket tray. What else could I put on it? I don't know. But it was just fun. So this was a buck. The pricing of this Goodwill is so funny. A dollar and nine cents. Uh, oh, the ring I'm wearing. <laughs> Boss my ring. I could use that to display the eggs. Probably, yeah. Boop. Yeah. Ta-da. <laughs> it would, yeah. Oh, it holds your glasses. This one? Oh, where's some glasses? Do I have some, have some cheaters around here? Oh my gosh. That's another. So I could put it, I could put the glasses on there too. Glasses there, rings and stuff in there. Look at you. Thank you, Susan. Um, so I'm gonna have to look that up and see what I'm gonna list that for. But I love the little nose on it. It made me laugh. So maybe, maybe 20 bucks or so on that. Or, uh, excuse me and having bought it for a dollar that's pretty good so the other thing that I can't decide I couldn't find anything like it and I kind of paid up for them I got two of them and it looks like this and when you slide it open it's hang on the little this is actually it hooks on there like that but it's a set a cutlery set that's got this like little cornflower blue porcelain handles. It's got chopsticks, spoon, knife, fork. How does that work with the chopsticks with the handles like that? I don't know. Anyway, um, but I thought they were so cute. And my thought was, well, if they don't sell, my kids will use them. You know, they'll enjoy that. Like that. Um, but I think I paid a lot. I paid like almost $10 a piece for them. Nine forty nine on both, and I got two of them. So I was like, "Well, I'll look them up and see if I can try to sell them." I just, I thought they were cute. I don't know. Do you ever do that? And you're like, "Maybe I'll sell them," but if not, if I can't, you know, if they're not really worth it, then I know, like, we'll use it or the kids will like that, just for fun. So those might be a dud because I don't know. I looked them up and couldn't find anything. I think I said. I think I said that already. Okay, so those are my items that I bought for about $40, 45 dollars, and I should be able to make at least at least five hundred bucks. I'm thinking on all this stuff once I get it listed and sold. Those are my estimates, anyway. And if you uh, missed the first part of the video, I do have my reseller speed dating coming back up again. And here we go. Uh, so this is in the community tab if you want to see more information about it. And I also put a little bit of in the description, uh, but jewelry and a reseller, resellers and jewelry sellers shoot scrappers too. bring it all, you know, whatever you got. Let's uh, get your channel some, some new viewers and let's meet some new people because that's super fun. So it's a, a minute video. You just send it to me um, on my, I, my email and then I'll compile it into one big long one. And again, there are two, there are two ones that we've done already that you can go check out to kind of see like, well, what do people do? Like some people just sit in front of the camera and talk. Some people do like a whole big production and it's so fun, um, but just a way to get some new viewers so they can see your personality, what kind of stuff you do on your channel. Um, yeah, that's good fun. And I like it because I get to, I get to know everybody a little bit better as well. All right. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If you haven't subscribed, oh, I'm almost at what? Seven, I'm almost at 70,000 subscribers. This is very exciting for me. Um, very, very close. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go over there and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, leave me a comment and all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you on the next video. Have a really great evening, you guys. Bye.